G'day, Scott Amon here from Baru Working Kelpies. A lot of people ask me how I get a decent handle on young dogs. Um, a lot of it comes back to this, just a decent rope lead. And um, a lot of people are unsure how to do it. I can show you the way I do it, and it works for me. Uh, a fellow by the name of Mick from Mixed Collars on Facebook uh, has made me up some collars with a, some, sorry, some leads with a ring in them. A little metal ring there so that we can run the collar back inside it and the main portion of the lead will slip through that. What we do is put a young dog, I think it's a foundation of all respect between you and the dog, the dog and you. And if we've got a dog that's going to pull, this dog won't, he's done a bit of lead training already. Um, if he's going to pull, we have it up nice and high, right up near the ears there and we can have some sort of control of the dog. And all we really do is use this as a message stick, even though it's a floppy piece of rope and we ask these dogs we always give them enough lead so that they can be loose on the lead if we need their attention good boy mate we can get it through this when I walk walk this dog if I start to feel the dog I'll correct him now that correctness will vary depending on the dog some older dogs will pull right from the word go and they'll pull hard so I'll correct them pretty hard but you take it each dog has a different nature and you take it bit by bit. So you start low, if that has no impact, you go to the next level. Some dogs, all you have to do is shake the lead to get a response. We should get it from this dog, there you go. I don't want him out there pulling me and dragging me around, I want a loose lead. I want to be able to walk around the sheep like that. And that's the beginnings of respect between me and the dog. Um, we do this just as a matter of course. Batman, come here Batman. I'll often walk backwards and the dog will get used to coming back with me and responsive to me, that man. As they get older, they get better and better at this. Wherever you are, you know your dog's behind you and you can send him or you're not gonna trip over him. Nothing worse than tripping over a bunch of young dogs. And as I said, it's that respect that's just so important from the start. Get this right and everything else will fall into place that much better. So that's, that's the secret. The real secret is start gently until you get what you're after. If he's sniffing, I'll just let him know with a shake of his, come on mate. Good boy, encourage him. Walk in front of him so he becomes responsive as to where you are. Always give him enough lead so that there's a big loop in it. Always give him enough rope. Too many people pull their dogs up and want to feel their dogs like that. Drop all that, go to the end of your lead, have enough length in your lead so that you can do that. And as I said, you can fix an older dog in about 30 seconds with a lead like this. You can be hard on him if you need to be, but you don't want to repetitively be hard. You just be hard enough to get the desired result, and then he should respect the rope and respect you. So that's what we're after. Come on, mate. I don't want him stepping in front of me. I show him just by stepping towards him or in front of him. Come on, Batman. I can also flip the end of this lead like this. Just get him to stay behind me again. Batman. I just remind him every time I feel him on the lead, I don't have to look, every time I feel him on the lead, I just remind him with a couple of jabs of that. They're pretty powerful, these things. You can, you can do, do a lot with them. You can put a lot of pressure on a dog's neck, but you usually don't need to. It's only the real strong, heavy dogs that have been getting away with it for years that you need to give a couple of good jolts to, and that's all it should take. So, yeah, that's my bit of a pointer. Um, as I said, Mick from Mixed Collars, you'll find him on Facebook makes some great webbing collars and uh, we've been using them for a while now and he also makes these great I think they're a nylon um, braided type sailing rope and they work really well as leads particularly if you ask him to get these make of these up with the uh, with the ring on the end so it can slide they work they work an absolute treat for me and as I said I reckon it's the foundation of all respect each their own but it works for me Beirut.